Hi, it's Payam here. So where are interest rates going to be in the next two years? Where are we going to end up with all of this stuff? Um, it's interesting. So I thought I'll ask the question from my channel subscribers. We've now nearly got 10,000 subscribers there. So I thought I'll ask this question and we'll, we'll look into some of the results that we've had and we'll talk about this subject of where we think interest rates are going to actually end up. There's some mixed reviews at the moment. If you read some of the articles out there now, the Bank of England seems to be backtracking and saying, well, actually, it's not going to be as high as what we thought. There's a few other articles in a few of the papers thinking, well, it might cool down a little bit. So uh, let's talk about it. It's Pi, I'm here from Niche. Right, um, let's have a look at the community section of the website because I've posted some interesting questions to the subscribers and I think it makes some interesting reading for us um, to get a little bit of overview on what others people think. Now, first of all, I want to bring your attention to the 9,860 counts. So we're nearly hitting 10,000 so within the next couple of weeks I think we'll definitely hit the 10,000 count and we're getting about 65,000 to 70,000 uh, views every 30 days or so so thank you very much for everybody on that now I'd like to bring your attention to the community section now I've posted I started posting some questions on this and the last question I posted was four days ago uh, four days ago I asked where do we think the Bank of England base rate will end up in two years time now we've had 413 people vote on this. Um, so 18% of the people thought it's going to end up at 3%, which I think is a bit optimistic. I think at the 3rd of November, which is the next time the Bank of England monetary policy will get together, I personally think, and I haven't been wrong so far, I think they may hike it by 1%. So, um, but you have got 18% of the people think it's going to actually come down then, uh, potentially, um, if it's going to be a 1% rise, but they think it's going to end up at 3% in two years' time. 25% of the people think it's going to end up at 4%. 23% of the people is going to th think it's going to end up at 5 13% of the people think it's going to be 6%. 21% of the people think it's going to be 7%. Now, a point of admission here. YouTube doesn't allow me to put more options, so I couldn't do 8 9 10%. Um, so I should have really put 7% or more. However, there has been a few comments, people saying, look, we think it's going to be more. I really hope not, because it's going to be absolute mayhem if it is anywhere near that. Because remember, Bank of England base rate is at 2.25, and right now lenders are pricing themselves anywhere between 5 and, I don't know, 7%, depending if it's a residential and deposits and buy-to-lets and things like that. So, not looking great, but... Uh, it looks like the majority of people think it's going to be about four to five. So around the four and a half percent mark, I think it's going to be around about that as well, personally. Um, now, what's interesting is I asked the same question three months ago. So we come here, well, less votes, the channel was smaller then as well. Um, so we had 10% uh, of the people thought it's going to end up at 2%. 23% of the people thought it's going to be 3%. 31% of the people thought it's going to be 4%, although I've put an and there. 17% of the people thought it's going to be 5%. And 18% of the people thought it's going to be 6%. So again, you know, the 4 to 5% mark seems to be where the general sort of trajectory is. Trajectory? Trajectory? Right. So, yeah, just it's interesting. I will try to sort of put more questions down there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you want me to ask a question um, out of the subscribers. Come on, there's going to be 10,000 of us soon. So, And certainly 70-odd thousand people are viewing these videos. So it gives us a good idea of where things are going. And what I've tried to do with this channel is try to build up a community of people that, you know, uh, I've got an opinion about where it's going to go, whether it's right or wrong, whether you agree with me, disagree with me. I think this stuff is, is useful for us to know. So if you've got any questions you like me to ask, by all means, or if you've got any topics you want us to discuss, let me know in the comments and, and we'll look at it. One more thing, this happy chap here, people have asked, who is this happy chap here? Well, his name's Richard Stokes and he's my business partner. Um, we've been working together for the last 20 odd years in mortgages. Um, me and Richard set up the business, set up Niche 
in 2008. So we've been together, 50-50 business partners. He's just shy. He doesn't he doesn't want to come on YouTube and, and talk about mortgages, but uh, he certainly uh, you know is is my is my business partner, and we've certainly. Um, uh, gone through the good times and bad times together so uh, that's who he is but he seems to be very happy he seems to be upbeat about the market uh, uh, and, and certainly uh, we think there's going to be some interesting times ahead obviously there's going to be some hard times um, looking at the the first week when interest rates really hit up we had a number of clients said look we we, we want to put things on hold we had inquiries were down massively but funny enough, we've we've seen a bit of a bounce back because people have to make a plan. You know, if you've got a buy to let mortgage and you've got a portfolio of mortgages, you need to work out what you're doing for the next two years, three years. Certainly if you're a first time buyer or if you're remortgaging. If you're a first time buyer, you've got a little bit more flexibility because then, you know, I've done videos on this about, you know, do you sit tight? Um, and let the property prices drop, which they will do and they have done. I've seen clients of mine are renegotiating things. So yes, rates are higher. Yes, affordability is higher. But then are you getting a bigger discount? Are you now able to buy that property that you couldn't six months ago? Are you now, you know, are estate agents coming back to you? And one thing, the positive thing about this, right? The only positive thing about this, because I know everyone's business gets hit and clients get nervous the only thing is estate agents are less arrogant don't you find the estate agents are less arrogant now okay because remember you know I've been dealing with estate agents for years and my clients certainly have and they were really really arrogant and they were you know oh if you don't want it we've got 30 other people you know you're you're going to start getting calls from those very same estate agents saying are you still interested are you still in the market because they will find things are drying up or there's not much stock available those people that were going to sell and upgrade are not doing so first time buyers are now uh, in a better position not from an affordability and rate perspective but certainly from a, a availability perspective you know if you are someone who doesn't have to sell a property and you're getting onto the ladder you know it's a good opportunity as long as you get a good deal and you know knowing what what a good deal is is really yourselves um, you know, I've I've been criticised uh, by some uh, some people within the the comments to say, look, you know, don't be a cheerleader for the market. That it's a absolutely terrible time to buy. I agree, it's a terrible time to get a mortgage, uh, but you've got to buy somewhere down the line. Now there are some people who, who always sit things out and say, look, we're going to wait until the market stabilises. That's absolutely fine. There are some other people saying, look, you know, this could be my opportunity to get in as long as I get a good deal. I've got, you know, I've had clients that were, you know, being offered properties for 600 and that same property is now coming up 50, 60K, you know, less. So then you've got to do your numbers and say, okay, the rate was I was going to pay was 2%. Now it's 5.5%. How much does that cost me and how secure am I with that decision? So those things that you've got to, you know, you've got to really think about it speak to your family members speak to your support structure speak to your partners speak to the people that could support you uh, longer term because you've got to have a plan longer term right you know whether it's a two three four five year longer term so yeah let me think just always have a have a look if you're browsing YouTube and you're bored and you've got to be really bored but if you are bored have a look at the community tab because and what I will do is I will be posting more questions in fact what I will do is under this a video if you guys leave your suggestion and I will pick one of those suggestions and then we will go with that on it so uh, we'll ask the, that question on my next uh, poll um, so I'll catch you on the next one take care The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.